Do you guys remember about five months ago, one of my active favorites videos, I was raving about these hats, the Gymshark Legacy hats, and it kept saying, gee, I feel like Gymshark really should bring back the freaking Legacy collection. Gymshark, if you are watching, I'm about to make a damn petition because we want more Legacy. 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 <laughs> Well, we got more legacy. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Gymshark heard our prayers, amen. We got more legacy on the table today. I'm very excited because legacy is one of my favorite collections that I feel like they don't do enough of, but when they do it, they do it right. So I know that some of these countries already released the legacy. I know the UK, I believe Canada, Australia, some of you may already have these dropped on your website. I know the USA, like me, we're still waiting on them. I don't believe there's an exact release date, so believe me, once I see it go live, I will always announce it in my Instagram story. So if you're not, follow me up in there so that you don't miss anything. So drop a comment. I know I've seen some of you guys on Facebook community. You already got yours in, you're already styling with it. What are your thoughts? Like, what are, what are you thinking with this new legacy drop? So in today's video, we're gonna be talking all about that new, new legacy, and we also, have a Shark Miss giveaway in this video, that's right. If you guys are new and unaware of Shark Miss, we're doing a 12 day giveaway with Gymshark up until Christmas day. We have some active ones right now going on. We actually have the last Shark Miss video going up until Christmas day, so you have a lot of time to enter in on that. We're also gonna be on Instagram and TikTok loading you guys up with Shark Miss giveaways on there. So definitely follow me on those platforms so you don't miss out. A huge thank you to Gymshark for sponsoring today's video and Sharkmas. Gymshark mixed up the Legacy collection this time. I feel like they aimed a little more towards loungewear. Don't get it twisted, I definitely wore this racer back bra to the gym. Any chance that I can get to wear Legacy to the gym, I will. And let me tell you why. If you've been watching my videos for a while, Legacy's one of my favorites for lifting in because I really do feel badass. I don't know if it's because of the old school Legacy logo. The Legacy will be coming in this racer back sports bra these sweat shorts right here. We also have an oversized crew sweater, a short sleeve t-shirt, a cropped short sleeve t-shirt. Every single piece that you see in today's video is all in my true size small. I'll have my measurements down in the description box for your reference. Okay, let's talk sports bras first. So we have the colors navy blue, the obsidian green, which I'm wearing right now, which is my favorite. We have signature white, and we also have a yellow color. I'm gonna start with the most important aspect of the sports bra, and that is the fact that there are no bra pads or inserts for bra pads. Even though there's no bra inserts, I have to make it known that this is double layered, so it's not like just one layer over your nip. There's actually a few layers, so as much as I steer away from no bra padding at a gym, this is totally gym friendly for me. I didn't see my nips, plus this massive logo on the front I think helps to disguise that. But yeah, I didn't have an issue with that and I didn't feel weird or insecure wearing it to the gym. A decent moderate support, you have a nice coverage, very thick straps, a very simple straightforward racer back. My only, only picking aspect of this entire thing is the fact that right here, the cuts of the bra gave me like a slight bra bulge. It didn't pinch and it wasn't uncomfortable. It's not uncomfortable right now, but I, I saw it because of the cut right here. But that's just me. That wasn't enough to keep me out of this bra. There is no pinching at all anywhere going on, so it's very, very comfortable. Super true to size, I wouldn't size up or down. And you actually have a decent support underneath because you have a built-in band. The Gymshark Legacy logo, as you can see if you look up close, is a lighter green. So this is obsidian and then you got that lighter tone. I love, love that they kept it within that tonal range of green. I'm starting to become a massive fan of tonal branding. For me, I just feel like it meshes so much better and it's a little more, more subtle to the eye in a good way. Keep in mind the only colors that have that tonal logo are the obsidian green and the navy blue, as you can see. The other colors logos are either a white or a black. So as you can see, the yellow has the white logo and the white drawstring on the shorts. That's the only pair of shorts with a different color drawstring. And then you have the signature white with that real 
contrasted stamp of black. And I know what you guys are probably thinking. Well, Ash, there's no stinking leggings in this collection. What on earth am I gonna wear with these sports bras and things like that? So while experimenting with mix and matching, I found that these leggings were the best match to the sports bra. So for this green, you really can't go wrong with other obsidian green leggings if you got any, whether it's training, vital right here. This one's a really nice match. I wore this one to the gym and I love it. Breaking out the navy blue, if you guys got any of their navy blue leggings, it's a go. The new camo Savannah print is a pure match. Same deal goes with the yellow. The latest camo is a pure match but I'll do what you want even better. We actually got the flex here, high-waisted flex. Marl print goes really nicely with the yellow sports bra with that white logo. All right, let's talk some sweat shorts here. These shorts are coming in the same colorways as the sports bras. So we got that yellow, navy blue, white, and the obsidian. Hands down, the coolest part of these legacy sweat shorts is most definitely the logo. It's not printed like the sports bra. It's a fuzzy felt, all right? I'm actually really loving these legacy sweatshorts out of any that they came out with because I feel like they're not so big. Like I remember their last launch. I wore my true size small and it was pretty massive and I was rolling it down. These, I feel like they're a little more true to size and they don't look so big, boxy and bulky, almost like a diaper. Like I feel like these are the traditional style sweatshorts that I've been looking for. I do have to say this is mostly cotton with some polyester. So you have a little bit of that softness to it, but it is mostly cotton based, but not to the extent of the throw on shorts that they came out with. So the lining inside these sweat shorts, they're, I feel like they're not as rugged feeling as the throw on shorts, if you remember those, but they're very, very similar. This one has polyester in it, so it's slightly softer than the throw on shorts, but it, again, it is still cotton based. So you do have that kind of rugged texture. There's no lining or anything in these shorts. So definitely wear something underneath unless you're feeling frisky. So I would keep my true size small, but you could totally size down in this because there's a lot of extra room. It's got that slight oversized look without being truly oversized. It's like a nice happy medium. You could totally size down though. You got the V seam on the back to highlight the boot her. Still looking fly even in sweat shorts. I personally don't like wearing sweat shorts to a gym when I'm working out. I just feel like when I squat down and up, I'm getting a big wedgie right here. And don't get it twisted. I like my leggings riding up into my glutes, okay? But not my sweats. <laughs> it's a thicker material and then it just looks like you have a wedgie. Whereas leggings just make it look like your booty's so plump it's eating the material, okay? Two different animals here. These are actually pretty short. Okay, so not what I'm really used to with Gymshark. These are on the shorter side. Like if I'm doing a deadlift, like you have two pockets, no zipper or anything. Like I said, I think they did really well with these sweat shorts, especially compared to the last Legacy. I feel like it overall fits me better. Yeah, I would definitely say these are the best Legacy shorts they've come out with yet. Just my personal opinion, but two thumbs up from me. We got the crew sweater. Let's, let's do this right if we're gonna do it at all. Yep, this is what we're looking at. I'm actually not sure if these crew sweaters have dropped anywhere yet on Gymshark's sites. So these are the ones that I have. I have the yellow, the white, and black. Pretty long. You can absolutely 1000% size down in this if you prefer. I probably would. <laughs> So the lining in the crew sweaters softer than the lining in the shorts. So you definitely have more of that plushy feel, making it more of a cozy, warm sweater. So this is just your standard oversized casual crew sweater. You do have two logos with the Legacy here. You have a small Legacy logo right here on the front, and then you have the really big one on the back. Again, this is felt. You got the cuffed wrists here. So you can pull it on up. This traps heat. Okay, so if you're looking to work out in it, I would highly suggest you wear something underneath in case you need to take this baby off so you do not die. This is extremely comfortable though. I would absolutely rock these with some jeans. Like everyday use. Yeah, I love crew sweaters. I actually love them more than hoodies because I don't have to deal with a freaking annoying hood. And let's be honest, I never really put my hood up anyway, but crew sweaters are where it's at. 
All right guys, so the t-shirts, the last thing I'm gonna share with you today, this is a really good pump up cover as well. Size small, you can size down in this one too. Very stretchy though. I love when their t-shirts are stretchy. Just gives me more breathability here. Same design as the sweater here. The white, actually the white on white on white, this whole look right now, I'm kinda, kinda really vibing with. The cut of the t-shirt is a curved hem, so it kinda goes down right around here and then a little bit up towards the sides. Same with the back. The t-shirt logo is printed, no felt here. All right guys, so before we hop into Sharkmas, just gonna wrap up my final thoughts on the new Legacy drop. You already know, the more Legacy, in my opinion, the better. So far, I am really loving their new pieces. I think the shorts were a major upgrade from the last shorts, that's just my opinion. I'm not gonna lie, when I first found out that there were gonna be no leggings in this launch, I was like, dang, for real? But if I'm being perfectly honest with you guys, I wasn't a huge fan of the Legacy leggings as it is. So I wasn't too butthurt that they weren't coming out with leggings in this one. I also really love the way they made the Legacy bras a bit sturdier this time. If you remember the older ones that I raved about, they were more strappy. They had the plastic adjustments on the back. Love seeing Gymshark improve the quality of older classic collections. Love to see it. So for today's Shark Miss giveaway, Gymshark and I will be giving away three full sets to three different winners. So you have three chances to win and each of those winners will receive three full sets of their choice. So as long as it's available on the website, you can snag it. What a full set entails is one bottom, one sports bra, and one top like cover up. So you could choose, you can mix and match, do whatever you please. All you guys gotta do to enter is like this video, be subscribed to me and to Gymshark's YouTube channel, and lastly, drop a comment with what your favorite Gymshark collection is. Let's talk about it. I think we all know where my heart lies, and I do believe you know that that's the damn Adapt collection. That's the camo, the animal, but mostly camo. Camo just has my heart forever and ever. It's always been my tried and true collection, and it just, Never steered me wrong, so I'm gonna go with that. I will definitely have all the regulations and guidelines to this giveaway down below for you so you can always have something to reference in case you're unsure. In the last Shark Miss video, I asked you guys to leave either an email or your Instagram handle so I have a way to contact you. I got a lot of you guys messaging me saying, what's up, Ash? Like, why is my comment getting deleted? I have a feeling YouTube's looking at this as like a spam. <laughs> so just to kind of avoid that, do not worry about giving your contact. So once the winner is picked, I will reply to the winner's comment. From there, they can respond with their contact information so that we could chit chat back and forth and you know, pick the pieces and stuff like that. So for your entry, do not worry about including a contact just yet, all right? A huge thank you to Gymshark for sponsoring Sharkmas and providing the giveaway prizes. And an even bigger thank you to you for watching and supporting this channel. We love you guys and Sharkmas is one of our favorite ways to give back. Definitely be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok so you do not miss out on the future giveaways. Thank you again, guys, for watching. And before we sign off, you already know that it's time for a bonus entry. All you gotta do is reply to somebody else's comment and you get counted twice in this giveaway. This could be anything. This could be a response to their favorite collection. It's all about community, baby, because that is the whole point of this channel. Happy Shark Miss, you guys. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching and entering, and I'll catch you in my next video. I don't know what's going on, but something about it just gears my bum up and ready for, um, I don't know what I'm saying. That's good. So I have a yellow, a navy blue, a white. You're wearing a green, baby. <laughs> You're wearing it, G. I was like, where's my obsidian green shorts? <laughs> <laughs> I can't right now, I just can't. Okay. I have perfected the art of putting on sweaters with hats. How do you like them apples? It's always been my tried and shrewd. Trude? True. <laughs> Something about it just triggers like my inner beast and then I just shred it up at the gym. Don't ask. Okay, get this plan out of here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I think I just like <laughs> full frontal. Sorry. So my favorite Gymshark collection. This is one hell of a hard question, isn't it? S mm. <laughs>